Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday the 4th of February. Nasty day out today. Cold and wet. Uh, maybe some snowflakes late tonight, but next week, all kind of issues on the table here. So as always, a lot to talk about. Let's take a look out the window, and this is a good day to stay inside looking out a window and not being out in that. That's the uh, Inverness Skycam overlooking Highway 280. A steady soaking cold rain with mid-30s. Check the uh, Fayette Sky Cam up in northwest Alabama. Even up there, they are above freezing, so no icing issues now. And down south, there's a look at Chilton County, downtown Clanton. Our big trough is getting close. The upper low is near Wichita Falls, Texas. Excellent dynamic lift producing all the rain out there this afternoon. And, man, it's a cold rain. Uh, readings are very consistent. The uh, numbers range from 34 at Haleyville to 41 at Montgomery. Uh, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Shelby County Airport, all at 37. And there's that big old rain shield. Uh, starting to taper off a little bit over West Alabama, and it's going to gradually diminish this evening. The heaviest rain is over on the eastern side of the state now. Check temperatures around the nation. And uh, pretty hard to find warm weather. I guess Miami, about your only choice. Miami, West Palm Beach, Fort Myers, down there in the southern tip of Florida. Got a warm ridge down there. Around the region, uh, that's the composite at uh, about 1 o'clock, and you can see a break in the rain over a pretty good chunk of Mississippi. But look at the snow falling over Arkansas and Louisiana. That little batch of snow could uh, ease in here tonight. Not a lot, but maybe a little bit. Uh, maybe enough to make the ground white in some spots, mainly up over the Tennessee Valley. There's the uh, current advisory situation, winter weather advisories from northeastern Texas through north Louisiana, much of Mississippi, all of Arkansas. Western Tennessee, extreme north Alabama, the Tennessee Valley. And again, this thing will be out of here by tomorrow morning. There's the overall expected precipitation around the nation for the next five days. Valid through Wednesday morning at uh, 6 o'clock. Heaviest rain just uh, off Cape Hatteras. And this is valid uh, again through Wednesday at 6. So uh, this will take into account today and whatever comes down uh, maybe Monday. Let's go right to the RPM and take a look at this thing. Uh, this is valid at 6 o'clock this evening. The bulk of the rain is off to the east. There's the snow back off to the northwest. Still some freezing rain showing up there. We'll jump to 6 o'clock tomorrow morning as we start the weekend in the day Saturday. This run a little slower with the snow. It's got it over north Mississippi and extreme northwest Alabama. By 10 o'clock, it's really starting to diminish. Just a few light snow flurries or snow showers over North Alabama, and by 6 o'clock, it's all gone. So, uh, And really, this run, a little drier than recent runs in the RPM, so we'll still mention a chance of maybe snow flurries late tonight or early tomorrow, but it doesn't look like it will be a big deal. Uh, the sky should begin to clear tomorrow. And again, should be pretty chilly, the high, uh, low 40s. We all know the guidance has been running way too warm lately as this air is coming over that uh, uh, big snowpack where they had the blizzard uh, uh, earlier this week. The GFS shows 44, the NAM 43. We'll say low 40s. And there's the upper air look for uh, tomorrow. You can see the trough lifting out north of us, squeezing out some light snow up there. Now, Sunday's going to be the nicest day of the weekend. Uh, uh, the GFS shows 55, the NAM shows 53. We'll take that. We'll call it partly sunny. Now, there's going to be a southwest flow aloft. It will not be a really sunny day, kind of a mix of sun and clouds, and maybe more clouds than sun. You all know how it's been hard to get sunshine in here. All right, now here's Monday uh, at noon. Very strong vorticity center digging through the southeastern states. And uh, not a lot of moisture, but again, the GFS is suggesting that thing might squeeze out a little light rain or maybe some light snow. The thickness values are low primarily because of the cold air aloft. The lower levels are not that cold, uh, but still, uh, we're probably talking low 40s with a chance of some light rain or light snow, whatever. We don't think it will be a whole lot. And then Tuesday, uh, we're kind of dry and, and cool. It'll be a high in the 40s, and here comes the next wave off to the west. And Wednesday, here we go. Uh, snow breaks out. Uh, this is noon Wednesday over in north Mississippi and parts of north Alabama. Big old cold 1,036 millibar high sitting over the uh, Red River. Wednesday night at midnight. Uh, if this is right, it would be snowing over much of north Alabama. Good, heavy snow falling. 
and then at noon on Thursday, that whole thing is on by, and it just it's cold. Uh, so, you know, at the moment, I think you have to mention a chance of snow for sure Wednesday night or Thursday, but just wait a minute here. By the way, there's Friday, very cold. But let's check the uh, European for Thursday. Yeah, it's warmer. It's got a deepening surface low really near Columbus, Georgia. And the uh, potential rain-snow line uh, really sitting up there in the northwest corner of the state. So the, the, the model madness, the GFS showing a big snow here Wednesday night. The, the European showing a big rain late Wednesday night and Thursday. Who do you believe? Well, let's just give it the weekend. I think uh, we all need a weekend to sit back and relax a little bit. We'll come back in here Monday morning and deal with this. For now, we'll just say a chance of rain or snow. Thought we'd show you the uh, buff kit output, and this is always fun. Uh, this takes into account a whole bunch of model runs of the NAM and the GFS, as you can see. And uh, we have had uh, two runs of the GFS with 10 inch snows for Birmingham uh, Wednesday night and Thursday morning. That makes you want to slap your mama. And I'm not saying that's going to happen. Nobody is. But I'm just saying we've had model output that's demonstrated that. And quite frankly, every run of the GFS in the last uh, few runs. They put down snow amounts anywhere from 6 to 10 inches every run. Very consistent. You can't ignore that. And the cold coming in behind it, whoa, that's a zero Fahrenheit. Uh, Friday morning at 6 o'clock on one of the runs. Another run has it at 5. So, you know, it's going to be awfully cold. And if we get a snow cover by chance, uh, Friday morning, it, it really could bottom out. So just be aware there is potential for some winter weather mischief Wednesday, Wednesday night, Thursday morning of next week. Maybe, maybe a significant winter storm threat and then very cold, the coldest of the season blowing in here for Friday. But the good news, the pattern relaxes over the latter half of February. I think we're getting increasingly confident for sure the latter half of the month will not be as cold as the first half. That's the 20th of February, zonal flow. No cold air, really, to speak of. It's all locked up north, and uh, that looks good. That would suggest highs up in the 60s, and we'll sure take that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by uh, my next video, Monday morning at 7, Brian Peters, the man who looks like Colonel Sanders. We'll have the videos tomorrow and Sunday. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless.